like to hit in the end zone? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, definitely a surreal experience, especially here in Alton. Um, it was awesome. I mean, just celebrating with the team and everything like that. It was just a great feeling. Um, thank you, God, for letting it happen. And, you know, we had a great win, and it was it an was amazing experience. Are you, like, where the ball's supposed to go on that play, or is that are you further down the list? Uh, you know, there's a couple different options on that play. Um, but as as you guys know, you know, when Bo's at quarterback, anything can happen. And he improvises and makes things shake at all times. And, you know, you got to stay ready and be in the moment. And it just so happened to be there, and I made the most of it. You guys got to move on from a game with a ton of attention on it. So how do you feel like guys have regrouped the last couple hours? Yes, the last sir. 48 hours and kind of refocused. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I can say this as a team. Uh, we're just trying to go 1-0 and every week. Um, you know, that's what we look forward to. It's Oregon versus Oregon every week, no matter the opponent. Uh, we're just looking to become better each week within ourselves, offense, defense. Uh, it doesn't matter all phases of the game, special teams. We're trying to just go 1-0. Jordan Burge has had a big couple of weeks for you guys against Colorado. He put a big hit on a running back in pass protection. Have, have you had to pick him up in a situation like that? And, and what is that like? Oh, yeah. You know, Jordan Burge has always been a guy. Uh, he's always he's always hardworking, always been determined. Uh, he's always moving fast, moving physical. He's violent out there. Um, and, you know, just seeing him make plays just gets the whole team hype. I mean, whenever one of our defense makes plays, I know it gets us hype on offense. I know it makes us want to go harder for them. And when they see us make plays, I know they get they get want to go harder for us. So it's just great when you see everybody making plays and, you know, you just kind of build off of it. What does that 13 personnel grouping offer you guys? Like, what is that? I mean, naturally, tight ends, you're all going to want to be on yeah. the field. Well, you are. Um, so what, what is that personnel group? Like you said, there's three tight ends on the field. So we got to we got to show what our room can bring to the table. And, you know, it's exciting that um, they have that trust in us to um, go out there and do the job that's asked of us. And, you know, we're not complaining. We're there to be physical, be violent in whatever that we're doing. And we're going to do it to the best of our ability. Will you even go back to the spring? Like, were you expecting that? Because, like, all right, what you saw in the spring game was last year's offense. Like, were you expecting the volume of 12 and 13 personnel that you guys are running right now? Well, when we, well, I got here in fall camp. So when we did that, I, was, I wasn't expecting as much as we do. And I love that. I love that we're doing even more than expected. I, I hope we continue to do more. Um, you know, I think we've shown that it, it, it works fairly well. So, um, you know, we take it as a pride and a chip on our shoulder as a tight end group. And, you know, we want to achieve it to the best of our ability. Whenever our number's called, we want to answer that call.